Hello my friends out there in internet land. Um, I thought I'd try this uh, different approach for questions and answers just to see if it works and maybe this will be really cool, maybe it won't. Um, loads of people send me emails still with questions. Um, I don't answer questions if you send me emails by the website. I've got a forum which is uh, if you put questions in the forum, me or one of the other people that hang out in the forum will help you out I'm sure. Um, and a lot of people also put questions on my videos, it's like the, the comments or whatever. So um, what I thought I'd do is do a Q&A video. So if you reply to this video with a comment that's a question, then uh, in my next Q&A uh, video, I will try and answer it. Um, I will take preference to people who can be bothered to do a video response. So if you've got a, a question that you'd like me to answer uh, about guitar or whatever, um, although I probably don't think I should be approaching politics questions, but um, if you've got a question about guitar or music or songwriting or whatever, um, then please leave a video response and I'll try and answer you in my next Q&A, which I'll call Q&A 2. So um, I think this could be quite a fun thing. Um, one question that pops up all the time is about uh, recording guitar, uh, how to record guitar. Um, uh, the, programs that the, the program that I use is called Logic. Um, it's a program made by Apple. It only works on Apple computers, so if you're a PC user, you're not going to be able to use Logic. Um, the, so the, that's what I use. The, the, I know the most common one for PC on the PC platform, I think, is called Cubase. Um, uh, I did use that for a long time when they used to make it for Macintosh. Uh, I don't even think they make it for Mac anymore. Um, it's, a, it's quite a good program. It's got lots of cool features and stuff, so that's definitely a winner. Um, a lot of my students have Macs now uh, because of a program called GarageBand and GarageBand is wicked. If you don't want to get properly into uh, recording like you know programming drums and stuff you want an easy solution then the GarageBand program is really wicked. You just kind of select a style like you want to do uh, uh, heavy metal drums and you, you just click on heavy metal, click on drums, look at the different, listen to the different drum loops you can have, drag them into the window, off you go. It changes that it can change the key of, of the licks, like you can have bass licks and keyboards and stuff, and it can change the key of them automatically for you. So it all it, it's real kind of drag and drop thing, a bit like there was a PlayStation thing that kind of did that for dance music a few years ago. Um, it's that kind of uh, yeah drag and drop idea. So you just select a lick and then move it in there and off you go. Um, so if any of you are thinking about getting into uh, computer recording but you're a bit scared of all of the horrible technology then definitely check out GarageBand uh, which comes with I think it, all Macs I think so um, if you bought like a MacBook or whatever it'll run quite comfortably. Um, as for getting your guitar into there um, most Macs I think all, again sorry I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure all Macs come with a built-in microphone which you can use um, some of my students have had some quite excellent results just recording, uh, you know, t turn their guitar amp on and playing it through, um, the, uh, recording it into the built-in microphone. That's quite a cool idea. If you want something a bit more slick, um, another bunch of, I don't have one, but a lot of my students and some of my friends have talked about using this uh, Line 6 guitar port. Um, that seems to be pretty ace. The one that I've actually seen in use quite often is called the Korg Pandora. It's like a little headphone amp thingy that you can kind of plug headphones in and it's got loads of cool effects and stuff built in. Um, it's not massively expensive for what it does and that also plugs straight into your computer so you can record into GarageBand or Logic um, or any of the, the, the computer based programs. Uh, so you just plug your guitar into Pandora, Pandora into your uh, system and off you go. Uh, the system that I use for importing and uh, getting my guitar into Logic is called the Motu 828 which is an 188 out. Uh, plus a stereo digital in and out. Uh, it's a bit more expensive. It's about 600 pounds, I think, 500, 600 pounds, so probably a thousand dollars. So it's uh, that's not a, a budget option, but it's got some really wicked features. Uh, a lot of people are still stressing about this thing called latency, and latency is when you hear uh, the sound a little bit after you play it. Like you're, you're listening to your headphones, you've got the drums and and the bass and stuff in your headphones, and you're trying to play guitar. But when you play guitar, you hear it kind of like half a millisecond or something after you play it. That could be really super off-putting and uh, definitely you're not going to be able to do very good rhythm guitar if that's the case. 
Um, the uh, motor equipment comes with this thing they call a Q-mix system, which means that it's called direct monitoring. So rather than having your guitar go into the computer and then back out to the headphones, which is where you get that latency from, from the time it takes for your guitar to go into the computer, muck around in the processors and come back out into your headphones, that's what creates the delay, uh, the motor stuff goes straight into the motor and straight back out to your headphones all in one go, so you get virtually no latency. Maybe it'd have a second, but it's definitely never bothered me the, the small amount of latency you get through that, if there is any. I don't think there probably is. So, um, as far as actually guitar recording goes, um, I'm using the 828 is, is, a, is the, the interface, an audio interface is what it's called. Nearly always when I record guitar seriously, I use a microphone. Um, Definitely acoustic guitar, if, you, if you've got like an electroacoustic and you plug your electroacoustic straight in, it's not going to sound great. It'll sound kind of okay, but that's really for live use, not for recording. So if you're recording acoustic guitar, try and get yourself a microphone. Um, the one I use is a Neumann 149, I think it's called, um, which is quite a nice uh, large diaphragm condenser microphone. Um, and I also use a Rode uh, little pencil mic, I can't remember what the name of it's called, MT. NT100 or something, NT something. Um, the Rode, Rode brand, which are good on your Aussie, Aussie brand of microphone, uh, they're really good. There's the Rode NT2, I think it's called, is a fantastic large diaphragm uh, microphone if you want to get into recording. Uh, good for vocals and for acoustic guitar and stuff. And it's kind of, I think it's about 100 pounds, so 200 dollars, so it's a great microphone. Um, uh, if I'm recording electric guitar, I still nearly always use a microphone. Um, I plug into an amplifier and do that. Um, if I'm trying to do things more quickly, I use the uh, Mesa Boogie rec uh, recording preamp, the Rec Pre. Um, that's got a really, really great sound for recording. Um, still, for me, not quite as good as using an amplifier because I think, uh, well, for me, I use quite a bit of old stuff and, and I like it. it it's just a bit more raw if you use an amplifier, so um, I always prefer to use an amplified sound if I can. If I'm doing something, say, I don't know, for a guitar magazine or something like that, where I'm really trying to do it quickly and I want to get a, a range of different sounds, then I definitely use the Rec Pre because it's I can just plug that straight into my Moto and off I go, no setting up mics and having to worry about quieting the turning the speakers off while I record and all that sort of stuff. So um, uh, that's probably about as much info as I can give you on my basic recording stuff for now but that uh, yeah the, this this Q&A is not supposed to be just about recording stuff it can be whatever questions you like about guitar or pickups or setting them up or or amplifiers or the way that you set up effects or whatever you know whatever stuff you like I just think it'd be an interesting way to uh, do uh, Q&A because it's a lot easier for me to, to speak and demonstrate stuff than it is to type in the forum so um, this is uh, just a trial really see how many of you dig this idea and you know, if I don't get any questions, then I probably won't do this again. If I get loads, then maybe I have to do a whole heap of Q&A sessions. So, um, yeah, I hope that's good. Um, take care of yourselves, and uh, I look forward to your uh, video response and comment questions. And uh, I'll see you again, all again really soon. Take care. Later, dudes. Bye. <laughs>